So making things from memory is hard. I made the withered animatronics from memory, and for the most part they look good. Bonnie's head looks great. Freddy looks a bit odd, and uh, Chica exists. But yeah, I think I could do a little bit better if I looked at references, so I'm gonna do that. I think I kinda have to start with the endo again. Uh, I was planning on just adjusting him to make it work, but uh, I think he's a little bit too inaccurate. Alright, I'm just gonna remake the whole thing. Here's the top little bit. I'd say that's a lot closer already. He has some nice teeth. Skipping ahead a bit, and here's how it looks. Oh, that's a lot more detail than my first one. Here's the torso. I couldn't find any good pictures of the sides, so this is my best guess. I think he's supposed to be really thin. And here's the arms and legs. I never realized how cool this design is. I made a feat, and this is the only bit I've actually struggled with so far. I don't know why, but this just seemed a lot harder than it should have been. Okay, and I finished the hands. They might be a bit small though. I need to remember, cartoonish proportions. I'll add the wires as the last little detail, and that should be everything. Alright, here it is. And here's the back. Here it is next to the old one. Wow, he looks like C-3PO, actually. Here's a picture in the old position. I think I actually like the old one better. I messed up the lighting or something with the new one. But also, for some reason, this is making me think monkey. Okay, yeah, I needed that. That's much better. Time to move on, and I think I'll do the rest in backwards order, just to change it up a bit. So that means Foxy first. He could really use some work. I'm wondering how far I can get just changing the proportions that are already there. Mmm, I did not get very far. That is terrifying. I'm just gonna start over on the body because the holes are getting in the way. He's fat right now though. Wow, with the new proportions, that helped a lot already. Now I can add the holes back in. I've gotta wither him properly. Wither, 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 wither. And wrinkle, 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 wrinkle. Now for the head. I wonder if I can just keep the same base. I don't really know what I'm doing. Huh. Just a bit more adjusting and it actually looks good now. I'll try to wrinkle the face. The cloth brush is really fun. All that's left now is the eye patch. Okay, wow, I did not expect it to turn out this good. I'm actually kind of impressed. It's also quite creepy this time. I'm having way too much fun messing around with this model. Look at that, I'd say that's pretty good. And he's not a vlogger this time. Okay, Chica time. This one is a lot worse, so there's going to be more work to do. Here is what I'll start with. Now I'll adjust the proportions a bit. Here's a better kneecap. I think the body needs to be squished together a bit more. I wanted to just append the bib from the first video, but it looks like I didn't name any of the objects. Thanks, me. What even are all these spheres? Okay, a sphere. I guess I should just modify the old bib texture anyways. Wait, I merged the layers? After some more work, I finally have the new bib. And it's perfectly accurate this time. Nom time. I should do the feet now. Why are feet so difficult? You know, that's not too bad. I am just going to redo the entire head, though. It, it looks worse from the side. And getting somewhere. I reshaped the beak a bit. How does this look? Wither, 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 wither. Withering the head is the hardest bit. Okay, I think jaw wires is the last thing I need. Alright, that's pretty good. Render time. 
I made two pictures. I can't really say I'm a huge fan of either. I actually like the old one a lot better, despite Chica. But, um, yeah, this Chica is better. Probably. Who's next? Uh, Bonnie. This one isn't actually that bad, so I don't think there's a whole lot of work I'll have to do. Just by adjusting the proportions a bit and adding the skeleton, I think it's already almost done. He could always be a bit chunkier, though. I might actually want to redo the entire foot. Oh, and yes, I know Bonnie is supposed to be missing an arm. I mentioned it in the video, but thanks to all 312 of you who commented it anyways. Very helpful. I don't think I'll do much on the head, but I will adjust the ears. Actually, I'll make this bit fancy by using a separate material and using displacement. Ooh, that's better. Here it is all weathered, so I just need wires. Oh, I left a floating bit there. Wires, 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 wires. Beautiful. Then I made an overly complicated teeth texture. I just used the same scene as the last Bonnie, but I adjusted the lighting a bit. Lovely. Finally, the Fred boy himself. I'll do some proportion stuff again. There we go. Now I'll work on the head. Well, that's not right. <laughs> The teeth need some fixing. A few more touch-ups on the snout, jaws, and eyelid, and I think it's looking great. It's about done now. Time to add a ton of filters, like glare. Set that to one. Um, I don't think that was the right setting. Okay, and here it is with the proper settings. It's a big improvement from the from memory version. I also adjusted the eyes, as you can see. They look good. So here they all are again. Old versions and new versions. And pictures. But I still haven't done Golden Freddy. For some reason, the comments on my other video seem to think I'm mean to Golden Freddy. I don't know why. So this time, I'm just gonna pose him nice and gently in a calm sitting position. Whoops, are those stairs? So, uh, fire is supposed to like free his soul or something, so this is a good thing, right? Subscribe. <laughs>